there have been several different technologies that, or several, excuse me, several different companies that have been wor working on different 3D technologies. Uh, there's also a, a technology where a woman lies prone, and actually the breast, as I understand it, is, is in a, a bath, a, a water bath, right. and it's screened that way. Which of the 3D technologies are, are you the most familiar with? There is only one that has scientific evidence. Okay. It is, it, it was, um, it is that what I'm talking about and I was demonstrating. Uh, the water bath, well, it's impractical. Yep. It's impractical because we are talking about screening. That is, a yep. breast center should really run through 100, 150 women a day. Yep. Mind you, there are 60 million women only in the United States who should go through uh, screening every year. And uh, there is no way, let's say half of them have dense breasts. There is no way sure. we can examine women in a right. water bath, right. um, you know, well, uh, every day. Well, let me ask you this, because, uh, by the way, not only are there people watching us live, but we will be rebroadcasting this at Breast Cancer Answers. Mm -hmm. Todd, I think you'll be promoting this as well. Right. Uh, plus, we'll probably take Laszlo segments of this half hour or more discussion with you and break it down into individual components or parts, if you will, and promote those. How available is the, the kind of 3D uh, ultrasound that you're talking about and enthusiastic about? It's uh, available. Uh, it's, um, you know, it's not very professional to talk about companies, right, and I shouldn't, right, right, right. but it is available. Ask for it.